Quiet, soothing sounds abound in a 22-acre meadow in West Fresno. There's 200 planted along Christmas Tree Lane, which is a well-known uh, attraction during Christmas time. So this is a valley oak. A tree Fresno technician shows us rows of trees, including cedars and valley oaks, providing shade for the well-known trail. One of the reasons why we chose the valley oak is that very good survival rate, a uh, long lifespan, large trees, helps with sequestering carbon. Today we're out planting trees at the West Fresno Middle School. It's been five years since students at nearby West Fresno Middle School planted the trees provided by a grant Tree Fresno received from the California High Speed Rail Authority in partnership with Cal Fire. What I see now and what I planted back several years ago, it's impressive how well they're doing, how big they are. The drought tolerant trees improve air quality by removing tons of carbon from the atmosphere and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. But wow, well, when we first planted this, these trees, they were probably about only five feet. And now, looking at it, it's, yeah, it's probably about six times that height, if not more. They also provide much needed cover for wildlife. And if developers come calling, they'll be able to build between the greenery. And there are some gaps in between the rows to allow for approaches, entrances, and exits, um, and utility lines for when they do develop this, uh, this, this lot. Some trees may survive and continue cooling the area for up to 120 years, a lifetime legacy that future generations will enjoy. We got all these different species that are doing well here and so yeah I feel good about it I'm very happy